In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the GTA 6 timeline, when we can expect the next trailer, more information from Rockstar, the ability to pre-order the game, and when it will finally be coming out. We'll be talking about all of that in this video today, and a whole lot more. So the first timeline we're gonna be following today is if Rockstar mirrors exactly what they did with GTA 5. Now I know that is not 100% guaranteed. Rockstar has changed a lot since November 2nd, 2011, when we saw the first teaser trailer for GTA 5. But considering how successful GTA 5 was, maybe there is a chance they do things very similarly. So let's talk about where we are right now. So on December 5th, 2023, we had the trailer for GTA 6. If Rockstar follows the exact same pattern, which was 253 days after the GTA 5 trailer came out, they gave us screenshots. For GTA 6, we would see that on August 14th, 2024. And immediately I'm like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. We have to wait six to seven months just to see new things about the game. Well, if Rockstar follows the same pattern they did with GTA 5, the answer to that is yes. At least after that initial big gap, we don't see anything remotely close to 253 days again, because then just 39 days later, Rockstar gave us 10 more screenshots, and they did so in kind of a sequence of days. So for Grand Theft Auto 6, that would be September 22nd through the 26th, 2024. So it would take us nearly 300 total days to get 12 screenshots, but then 73 days later, Rockstar gave us the first preview and pre-orders available with trailer number two. And this also happened over the span of about four days. So for us in Grand Theft Auto 6, that would be December 8th through the 11th, 2024. And then of course, six days later, they gave us the second trailer, which for Rockstar would again happen on December 17th, 2024. So what we're getting at here is it seems like the big things that Rockstar wanna do are happening in the month of December which is not surprising because that's when people are a little bit less busy. They're off from work, they're off from school, they're home. The weather is usually not great for the majority of the world. They're inside, they're playing video games, and they're interested in what Rockstar is up to. So once again, if Rockstar follows the same pattern, that's what we're looking at. 12 screenshots, previews and pre-orders available, and one more trailer. Well, what about the following year? Because on January 31st, 2013, Rockstar announced the release date for GTA 5. That was September 17th, 2023. So the same timeline for us would be March 4th, 2025. That's when we would get the release date of Grand Theft Auto 6. 61 days later, the cover art was revealed. So for us now, that would be May 5th, 2025. We'd finally get to see that famous GTA 6 logo on the cover art. And then almost a month later, or I should say a little bit less than a month later, we'd get the trailer for the protagonist, Michael, Franklin, and Trevor. And there's a good chance, since we've got multiple protagonists here, that Rockstar will very likely do the same. Trailers for both Jason and Lucia, and that for us would occur around June 2nd, 2025. And then skipping a couple months later, we'd get the official gameplay trailer for us for GTA 6. That would be on August 11th, 2025. And then a little over a month later, the trailer for whatever Grand Theft Auto 6's multiplayer is going to be. We don't know what it's gonna be called. GTA Online 2.0, GTA 6 Online. That would likely occur on September 17th, 2025. Conveniently enough, that would be the anniversary of GTA 5 releasing. So maybe Rockstar would wanna do something special for that. And then the official trailer of the game, Coming just a few days later, this would be on October 1st, 2025, with the game releasing on October 20th, 2025, which would be 685 days from the very first trailer. And hopefully in between some of those dates, we would get screenshots, teasers, etc. But that pretty much sets us up for a very likely timeline of when the game is going to release, late 2025 during the fall or early winter. And I do feel like Rockstar will follow roughly this similar pattern. It's kind of what they did with Red Dead Redemption 2. It's what they've done with previous games like the last Grand Theft Auto, GTA 5. So that right there is really the first Grand Theft Auto 6 timeline. But there's another one I ultimately want to look at. This one was also posted on Reddit. And this one has sort of two scenarios, without a delay 
and a delay. So you guys can see we're right here. We just had trailer number one, which was kind of an overview and focused on Lucia on December 5th, 2023. Then we could possibly get a second trailer, an overview, and focusing on Jason in April 2024. So that would basically be three months from now. And that would also reveal when the game is coming out winter 2025. Again, just a theory. Trailer number three, which again could happen in August 2024, could tell us more about the state of Leonida. And this would also give us a release date of the game happening in February 2025, which would be interesting. And I don't know if any Rockstar game has come out in February. Now in December 2024, we'd get our official gameplay trailer, plus more information about the protagonist and the actual release date of the game, February 26th with getting the multiplayer trailer on January 16th, 2025, and that coming about a month after the game releases on April 1st, 2025, and then you get the launch trailer just days before the game comes out on February 18th, 2025. And then for the PC guys, you would get the first trailer for that June 26th, with the release date coming fall 2026, and the launch trailer in October 2026, with again the game coming out in October 2026. As PC is always just a little bit late, you guys are always like one year or so behind. And then there's a scenario where the game is delayed, and let's look at that right now. So in this instance, we wouldn't get the second trailer until November 2024. This again would be an overview plus Jason. That is a way more grim timeline. Again, telling us fall 2025 is the release date. Trailer number three would then come out on January 4th, 2025. Yikes, that seems awful to think about. It would be almost a year before getting more information in that third trailer on January 4th, 2025, telling us the game would come out on October 2025 and we could pre-order. Trailer four would focus on Jason and Lucia. That would happen in April 2025 narrowing down the release date to October 29th, 2025. In June 2025, we'd get gameplay trailer number one. In September, we would get gameplay trailer number two. And then the launch trailer would be in early October. Again, the game coming out on the 29th. And the launch trailer for GTA Online or whatever the multiplayer version is going to be coming in December with the launch of that happening in early January 2026. And then for the PC dudes, you guys would not be getting the game until May 2027. That seems absolutely wild to think about, but that truly could be the case if indeed there is a delay. And Rockstar Games has essentially released all of their titles with about a six month to one year delay. So is Grand Theft Auto 6 gonna be any different? I honestly don't think so. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think of the timelines we looked at in today's video, and do you think one of them is more accurate than the other? One that focuses without a delay, one that is a delay, uh, one that's a mix of what happened between GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, one that mimics just what happened with GTA 5. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You wanna stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.